Hello everyone. Today I'm going to give you guys a tour of our our backyard, the trees of our backyard, and other plants we have growing here also. Uh, the first plant I'm going to start with. This is a um, sugar cane, and as you can see, it grows in in bulbs, and it propagates through the bulbs in in the in the soil. Usually takes around, I don't know, maybe five months for it to grow fully. And basically we, we use, we just eat it. We just take the outside part off and we eat. Basically this is a tube with water inside, with sweet water inside. And ch children love this very much. Uh, over there we got a papaya tree. We have another papaya tree that's actually kind of dying because of the lack of water. Um, we have some squash here growing. And this, this, this tree, this is an um, avocado tree. As you can see, right now we have some, some fruit growing. These things right, right now they're very small but they grow very massive, eventually. So we got a lot of these tiny fruits, as you guys can see. Over here, we have a couple of banana trees. Right now we have two kinds of banana trees, one that's bigger, the, the, the tree is smaller, but it produces bigger fruit and in bigger, in, in higher quantities, the, the yield is bigger and another big tree that's bigger banana tree it's actually about tw tw twice the height and it, it produces smaller fruit and smaller quantities of fruit but it's much i, I prefer the, the flavor of the the, the taller one um, we have over here a small date palm growing um, it grew from from seed probably Over here, we have another avocado tree. These, are, these two trees are different. The other one I just showed you, the, the, the fruit grows to about, I don't know, maybe one kilo, one kilogram each fruit, or near. This one is smaller, and the fruits are rounder. But right now, these ones are bigger. As you can see, it, a lot, it, got, it has a lot of fruit, but most of the fruit actually falls down because the tree can sustain the, the weight of the, the fruits combined. So it starts falling down and some fruits grow, grow to adulthood. Over here, we have another, another banana tree. We got uh, three, three uh, papaya tree growers over there and some passion fruit vines, but uh, no passion fruit yet. This is an, a guava tree, small guava tree. We had a big guava tree, but, but it dried out. Um, we are in Cape Verde and it doesn't rain so, so that often. It only rains about three months, four months of the year. And the plants suffer a lot with, with the drought and we also don't have enough water to, to, to water the plants. This here is a plant we use for for bats, for smell. It smells very good. I don't know the name of the plant in English. Another papaya tree. You guys can see over here. Here, oh no, banana, I'm sorry. And over here, we have uh, the biggest papaya tree we have right now and the bigger producer too. We have a small one that's kind of drying out, as you guys can see. Over here, we have the star of the, of the backyard, this mango tree. Right now it's loaded. I don't know if you can, it has a lot of fruit. The problem with mangoes is you can't keep mangoes for long um, outside of the, the freezer and they go, I, I think that's why it's not a product that 
it's very commercialized from foil outside i don't know and usually when they commercialize it, it they don't let it get really ripe so the mangoes don't don't taste as good as they really should this mango really tastes this has a very sweet taste we have another mango tree but it's a different it's a different kind it's a different cultivar uh, it has smaller mangoes and the mangoes don't have this pink pinkish color to it this one has a pinkish color it grows big it's very sweet uh, and right now we have a lot of a lot of ripe fruit i'm gonna show you guys if you can see i just picked some mangoes and life's good man So still a mango tree. This one, I think uh, the name is Sanona. It's a Nona tree, but it almost died because the passion fruit vines. We had some passion fruit over here, and pa passion fruit, if you have it near an other tree, it takes over and it can kill other plants if you let it be. And over here we have the the big banana trees I was talking to you about. We call it, if you translate it literally, earth bananas or bananas of the land, some kind of something like that. And they, they're better adapt to the to the weather over here, and they can resist drought more too, even though they produce smaller smaller fruit. We have a, a small guava tree over there. I don't know if you guys can see. Over here, we have some fruits growing of this another tree. Some flowers. And a bunch of bananas, the bigger variety. Over here, some passion fruit vines. Right now, almost we have every fruit, every tree we have is fruiting. You can see, guys, some. Some passion fruit over here. So it started producing maybe two weeks ago, last week, two weeks ago. It's, it's in the beginning of production. And um, passion fruit is a great plant to grow because it's very resilient. It's really well adapt adapted to the weather here and you barely need to, to water it. And let's, let us go up so we have these banana plants we have this banana tree it's almost ripe this but this this is not the banana that's usually um exported or commercialized they usually export the, the one that produces bigger the bigger fruits but this one is if i could choose i would only eat these bananas you can see the rest of the plants. We have another, another banana, banana tree. And currently I'm on top of a cistern where we keep water. And I have some plants here over as well. Some parsley, some tree collards, some chards, and some arugula growing here currently. So, I don't know if you guys can see the rest of the plants. And basically, this is it. So see you guys until, until next time.